Welcome back to Linton Park and the Mini Challenge already today we have seen Shane Stoney crown the Cooper class champion but who will be the JCW class champion? Well the man in the box seat is the race leader Chris Smiley behind through the 40s's the action is as frantic as ever with Rob Smith coming with a little bit of pressure from Lawrence Davey as the Allen in fourth position likewise got Luke Cordell in pursuit this is the group a little bit further back headed by Mark Stewart then we've got Rob Smith Lawrence Davey, Stuart Calder, John O'Brown all running as one there is Coop class champion Shane Stoney immediately roped in to pit signalling activities by his team I think he'd far rather be out on track in the meantime in the Coop class is Josh Godin who leads the way from Ricky Page and Hamish Brandon but Ricky Page runs out wide through Redgate Molly Walker follows him through both of them kick up the dust it's Page who's lost out slipping from second to fourth in the Cooper class in car with Ricky Page Gets it all sideways at the apex, runs out across the gravel. Fortunately, it's not been raining too hard recently, therefore, he's able to keep his foot in and get through or in at two. Because for the final time of asking, it is JCW champion elect in the 2013 mini challenge, Chris Smiley. He's got the 16 points he needed. He takes the checkered flag, wins his second race of the weekend, more importantly, claims the title from. Chris Smith, who follows him home as runner-up in the Cooper class, it's Josh Gollin who is going to take the victory, having seen off the seething masses behind. And in the end, by the sounds of the Cooper class, that is a reasonably comfortable victory for a delighted Gollin. Let's have a look then at the results with Chris Smiley taking the win. Second place, Chris Smith. And Jake Packham completes the rostrum. Fourth is the Allen from Lawrence Davey and Rob Smith rounding out the top six. The class results, well, the JCW class, the top three in the race overall, Chris Smiley from Chris Smith and Jake Packen. In the Cooper class, it was Josh Gollin who took the victory from Hamish Brandon and Ollie Walker. So for Josh Gollin, it's the opportunity to stand atop the rostrum where he receives the smiles, the handshakes and the champagne victory in the Cooper class and the race overall. And JCW class giving him the JCW championship. It is Chris Smiley. <laughs> Photos complete. Time to celebrate with the champagne. Yeah, we've got our points. We're, on the, we're champions now. We're just over the moon. Um, just such a big thanks to Gavin and all the team. We've worked so hard all year with its with the technical difficulties. The car stopped. We've run out of fuel. But just makes it worth it all at the end whenever we come in the championship. It's just such a big thing. We've never I've never been British champion before, so. It's fantastic, and we've got all we've got a lot of people I know from home over. We've got Jack and everybody I know from home, so it's fantastic to have everybody here. Yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, I say it's partly down to my great start. I, I managed to get into the lead before even the first corner, and just get into the first corner just in front of Ricky. So uh, nearly a lights the lights the flag victory. So uh, absolutely delighted with my with my second win, and it's uh, everyone was on slicks this time. So it's fantastic. Yeah. Shane, you secured your title for the Cooper class and, of course, the championship after the first race. How are you feeling? Uh, fantastic. Um, I've just got to thank uh, the team. Uh, Carl and uh, all the lads have done a fantastic job of the car all year. And uh, I've got to thank my dad as well. Now, there are obviously three races this weekend. Why have you decided not to race any further? I didn't want to lose the championship on two on the last two races I can only lose it now if I get penalty points on my license uh, they come out of the championship total so it's just not worth the risk the class champs may have been crowned but there's still one final outing for the minis here at Donington Park to shake things up a little bit it's a reverse of the top seven on the grid and a rolling start so for the last time this year let's go racing if nothing else this will be fairly frantic it's John o Brown who starts from pole position it's Rob Smith who shares the front row of the grid with him this then how they line up with that reversal so row one Brown and Smith row two Lawrence Davian and the Allen then row three Jake Packer and Chris Smith Chris Smiley starts seventh from the inside of row four amongst the Cooper class runs it means Adrian Norman for Team Scale Electrics lines up in pole from Ricky Payton we've got Grace Williams and Chris Snowdy in the mix from Lee Walker Hamish Brandon and Josh Gollin they get ready for the rolling start and away we go and already Chris Smiley to the inside trying to get going early Jake Packard elbows him towards the grass it's all going to get very very frantic in towards Redgate for the first time Jake Packard 
all over the road and catches himself out through red gate. Rob Smith pushes Lee Allen out a little bit wide as well. That means that Allen is vulnerable to attack as well from Chris Smiley as they head through Hollywood and down the crane of curves for the first time of asking. And let's just hope an end-of-term atmosphere doesn't pervade this race. They all very much want to score the final win of the season. Let's hope they don't get their elbows out too much in the process of so doing. What about the Cooper class then? Precariously late on the brakes and around goes Adrian Norman possibly getting a little bit of a tap there. So the Team Scale Electrics man derailed at the old hairpin. JTW class, meanwhile, running as one. John Brown trying to make good his escape at the very head of the field. Just in behind then, it is Smith who's next up then. Lawrence Davey from Chris Smiley. Lee Allen, Jake Packen, Chris Smith. And the rest of them as they hurtle down towards the Fogdieses. Smiley, the red car, number 22, is looking to make the pass on Lawrence Davey. Davey and Turner constituting up behind Smith and Jake Packen elbowing his way through that. And the Allen and Chris Smiley will not be overwhelmingly impressed with that because Jake Pracken really used the Allen as his breaking marker then. It means that Allen's lost out, he's got Stuart Calder. And Chris Smith trying to squeeze through. It all gets a little bit tight through the Melbourne hairpin. Get back underway. The two wide, Henny and Scholars. Meanwhile, in car with Max Lever into the Melbourne loop. There is Grace Williams who he taps into a spin. Grace Williams goes around. Lever gets hit. Oh, he gets a very heavy hit as well. Also involved in that would appear to be Simon Walton and Chris Stoney looking to rejoin as Andrew Bray. So no concern to the JCW runners at the front of the field, but there's a little bit of a car park there on the exit of the Melbourne Loop. There's already John o Brown trying to check out the head of the field. This is really the battle to watch. It's Chris Smiley just from Chris Smith. Then we have got Stuart Calder as well as they accelerate on to the straight. Keith Isat in the mix and makes contact and several cars involved in that. Also caught out is Chris Callister Russell as well. There is Callister Russell coming to a halt and it brings out the safety car. Chance to see this is one more in car with Chris Stoney. There's the touch from Lever on Williams and Stoney onto two wheels. You can hear him gunning the throttle. Almost trying to do Russ Swift there on two wheels. Keep going. Didn't quite work out. The safety car is in. The race is underway. And once more, John O'Brown setting about trying to pull clear of Smith and Davy at the head of the field. As the sun sets on the season, Lawrence Davy running out very, very wide. He's followed through by Jake Packard. Also, Chris Smiley. And there's contact between Packard and Smiley. And there is Jake Packard, whose right foot must be welded to the accelerator. Let's have another look at it. They all go sideways through the grass Italian job style almost Packer then the black and green car sideways right foot planted well they are all very much on the limit of adhesion Ricky Page very much included that as he goes wide next to the Fogarty S's through the gravel trap and that gives Ollie Walker then the lead in the Cooper class and disappointing there for Ricky Page is also going to lose out to Josh Godden. They are pushing very, very hard here. That Donington Park as Lee Allen goes hurtling off at red gate. And that's a nasty hit for Lee Allen. And something must have broken on the car there. Because you don't see Lee make those mistakes. Very, very pleased to see him moving in the cockpit because that was not a nice instant. Let's have another look at it. And the car feels as if he's got no brakes. Goes into the spin. The gravel trap doesn't really slow him. Lee walks away, but when he watches that back, I think he will, aside from ruin the damage, be able to count himself. Fortunately, these mini challenge cars are built so strong. For John o Brown, though, he is going to finish the season on a high note because he comes out of the final turn of the 2013 season to take the chequered flag with, in second place, the third time this weekend, Chris Smith, and completing the rostrum, Robert Smith, whereas in the Cooper class, it is going to be Ollie Walker, who has had his adventures, who is just going to head off Josh Gollin over the line with Ricky Page regrouping himself to claim third position. Spectacular race to round out the season. So it is John O'Brown victorious from Chris Smith and Robert Smith Lawrence Davy in fourth from Jay Packen and Stuart Calder. In terms of the classes then, GCW class top three in the race overall. So John O'Brown, Chris Smith and Robert Smith. And in the Cooper class, it was Ollie Walker who just was able to wedge out Josh Gollin and Ricky Page. 
thoroughly entertaining way to round out what has been a fantastic season of racing. So our final Cooper class winner of the season, Molly Walker celebrates on the top step of the Doynton Park rostrum. And our final outright race winner of the year is John O'Brown. Congratulations to him and to all the drivers in the Mini Challenge. It's been a wonderful season. Yeah, it's just great to win again. Finally back there, we've got a car that's really ready to win. We're up on the top step. First day after the first race where we just ended up in the gravel from the back of the grid to third, then on the reverse grid draw from fifth to pole to the win. It's brilliant. It was nice to uh, bring it home and like I say, it wasn't too hard. Everyone was battling away behind me and managed to get a good restart as well on the safety car. So like I say, can't uh, be more grateful than this, but just like to say a massive thank you to Accelerate Motorsport for the input they've had this year. We've had ups and downs obviously, but you know, we've come through and it's nice to finish like this. Have a check then at the final championship stands at the end of the season at Shea. Dean Stoney, the Cooper Class champion, then Hamish Brandon, who ran in close, Chris Smiley, claiming the JCW honours just one point shy of 300. And so the curtain comes down on a stellar season of racing in the Mini Challenge. Once again, huge congratulations to our class champs, the JCW winner, Chris Smiley, and of course, the Cooper Class winner and championship winner, Shane Stoney. Don't forget, you can keep up to date with all things Mini Challenge on Facebook and Twitter. But for now, from me and from Donington Park, it's goodbye. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in 2014.